This is a small recap of a specific part of my basics building tutorial. And today we're going to cover specific decor uh, placeable decoration items and um, how to place them, how to rotate them, all that kind of stuff. So the majority you can find in your crew space right here, including commander scupolas, uh, viewports, antennas, stowages, all that sort of jazz. Now some of them are uh, symmetrized. If you enable the symmetry button right here, you might sometimes have to disable and re-enable it for it to apply. But so for example, cupolas and viewports cannot be symmetrized, while all the other parts here can be symmetrized. So for any of these items, if you want to scale them up or down, you can hold shift while using your scroll wheel to scale them up and down. If you can rotate them, you're going to use Q and E, which will rotate them uh, depending on what item it is. So for example, these ones are going to be roll, well, um, these ones are going to be yaw rotated. It can be either rotated in different axes, depends on the item which you are rotating. So that is the basic for all of these items. But there are a few hidden items that you can also place. And those are hidden in the mobility tab. And um, specifically, we've got spare tracks right here and the spare track segment under tracks. And in engines, we have exhausts, which you can also rotate and scale. They do have a minimum and a maximum scale, so you can't scale them like entirely and freely. But and they have quite a lot of uh, flexibility here. We also have vents. Uh, we have fuel units. So for example, also external fuel tanks, which can actually be more space efficient than your internal fuel capacity when placed and also have these little uh, fuel inlets which will specify a place for your internal fuel tank but it doesn't actually require to have an internal fuel tank it will just show roughly where they're gonna be if you put them in there and lastly we got fenders so not only just can we place these different kind of fender we can change to what kind of fender we want to use for example we want to use this nice one piece fender or we want to use this multi-piece fender we can select that kind of stuff. Uh, and we can also place a piece of fender individually if we want to, for example, put that on like the turret. If we want to make it like a little detail on the back of the turret, we can actually use it for, it for that, for example. But the most important part about here is the riveted panels. So the riveted panels are, if I place them here, you can see they actually have this little bit of spaced armor spacers, basically. And you have to make sure that the plate itself sticks out, otherwise you can't place it. Where the um, like mounts are, doesn't matter. Those do not have any collisions, but the other parts do. So this way you can make a little something out of the front here, for example, sides. But you could also use them if you, for example, have a turret mount here, let's say. If you want to do it that way, maybe you want to have a bit of a space armor front layout like this and you would have the turret face of course right here and then you would have some other pieces right like so. You have a lot of flexibility in what you can do with these gun mounts and uh, panels and all that stuff. Of course if you don't want them to be mirrored you can uh, press this button to stop mirroring them and uh, yeah. One thing to note is that if you want to remove an item, you gotta select it and then press the right mouse button to remove it. Other than that, there's not really much else to add here. So, happy decorating everyone. See you guys all in the next one.